everyone! I got such a great response from my last video on adaptive equipment for one-handed cooking, I decided to make a part two based on your recommendations. If you haven't watched that first video, you can check it out here. Otherwise, let's get started on today's video. Opening cans with one hand is almost an impossible feat without a one-handed can opener. Um, I'll be fully transparent, I actually tried a different product before this one. Uh, this is the Hamilton Beach can opener. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, I actually ordered something called the Kitchen Mama the first time because it had a lot of really great reviews. However, I bought mine used. I try to buy used things as much as I can, um, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle, all that good stuff. I got that one first and I'm not sure if it was because it was used that there was a problem with it or it was just the design of the product itself but it wouldn't even like grab onto the can. There was just not enough space to even set it on the can. It also had four AA batteries that it took to use. Whereas this one, this is the Hamilton Beach uh, can opener, electric can opener. This is so much better. It's rechargeable. There's a little port in the back. You just plug it up and it is so much easier to use. I love this thing. So I wanted to show you guys how it works. I have a can of cannellini beans here. And basically, you just lift up that little silver piece on the side. This is a magnet, so it's going to latch on to the metal lid of the can. And then there's a blade that sits under here that's actually going to cut your can open. So all you do is set it down. That magnet locks into place. The blade is in place. And then you basically just press down that metal piece. and let it go around. There's the click to let you know that it's done. And then you just lift up that piece and the lid comes right off with it. This is one of the best things I've found and I'm super excited about it. I plan to give this one to my mom who has rheumatoid arthritis and regular can openers are a little bit difficult for her to use. So the next three pieces of adaptive equipment were actually all recommendations from Reddit user Tetrasodium. So a huge shout out and thank you to them for recommending the rest of the adaptive equipment. Um, I actually ordered everything based on their recommendations, tried them out when they got here, and I'm super pumped about them all. So that's why I wanted to share them with you. So the second set of adaptive equipment I have to show you is a measuring beaker set from OXO. And I'll, again, I'll leave a link in the description below, but these are fantastic because if you ever do, especially any baking, measuring things with measuring spoons can be difficult, especially with liquid things when you have to hold the measuring spoon and then pour out your liquid. So the measuring beakers solve that problem for you. These are really nice. They have these really stable bases and um, easily identifiable colors on the bottom for the different measurements here. So like the smallest one is a quarter of a teaspoon to a full teaspoon. The blue one measures from a quarter of a teaspoon to a tablespoon. And then you've got half to two tablespoons and one to four tablespoons. So depending on what you're measuring out, you've got something for each one. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you is a set of ramekins. Now, these ramekins in particular are ceramic and I bought them because I loved the colors and just thought they were cute. But if you are worried about having ceramic ramekins and like possibly dropping or breaking them, you can easily find metal or plastic ramekins on Amazon. Um, I will leave a link in the description for this particular set though. But as I mentioned, user Tetrasodium recommended these. They use the ramekins as they're cooking. So when they are preparing to make a meal, they said that they would use the ramekins to go ahead and set up all their spices and seasonings in. So that as they're making the meal, all they have to do is dump in the seasoning or the spice and go. So I have a couple different um, containers here to show you. This is my giant container of smoked paprika because I love smoked paprika on just about everything. 
Now, depending on the type of cook that you are, um, I tend to go by intuition and I just throw spices and seasonings in to taste. But if you like following the recipe exactly, you could pull out those beakers I just showed you and measure your specific teaspoon or tablespoon amount in those beakers if you need to. And then place them in here as you measure everything out. So maybe you need a pinch of salt. So you could just pour that out into your ramekin. That may be a little more than a pinch, but we'll take it. Let's say you need some Italian seasoning as well. It might actually be easier to see how much you're getting putting this into a ramekin. I actually might start doing this myself versus just sprinkling it on and not quite knowing exactly how much you're putting on. It can be easy to either under or over season that way. And then maybe you wanna spice things up so you get a little red pepper and put that in your ramekin as well. So, there you go, smoked paprika, red pepper, salt, Italian seasoning. When you're ready for it in your meal, all you have to do, dump it in. The last thing that I wanna show you today is a sandwich bag holder. Now you might not use this during the cooking process, but perhaps afterward, you want to package up and store something in the refrigerator, the freezer, so that you can have it later. You might wanna put that in a sandwich bag, or you might just want to use it to pack lunches or snacks or something like that. So this little sandwich bag holder comes in super handy. It's got a nice rubber bottom here, so it's not going to slip and slide too much around on you. And then it's got clips up here at the top that you will slide the top of the bag into to hold it in place. So let me show you. You open up your bag, slide it in the middle. I've actually found that it's helpful because I try everything one-handed, if I'm gonna show you all, <laughs> to bring it sort of close to you and then kind of wiggle it up until it gets all the way at the top. And there's a little click you'll hear when it gets all the way to the top. So then we'll do the second side. Pull it all the way up to the top. And then you're ready to fill. So let's say I wanted to bring some almonds with me. If you have to, you always open things with your teeth. So maybe I wanna take some almonds with me for later. This is a lot of almonds. <laughs> take your bag out. Press. And we're ready to go. All right, everyone, that's it for today. I want to give a huge thank you and another shout out to Reddit user Tetrasodium for those awesome recommendations. Super helpful, super awesome products. I've got a link to each of those in the description below, as well as a link to my um, email list to so sign up for that if you'd like to get three free stroke recovery emails a week, as well as access to my free ebook, The Stroke Recovery Pocket Guide. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, leave a like if you found the content helpful, and hit the bell for notifications to find out when I post new content. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.